so I thought I would share a wood burning project. I got all of my materials except the shotgun shells at my local craft store. I spent some time measuring and calculating the center of the pre-cut piece of wood. I then drilled a pilot hole. I used the blue tape to prevent splintering. I asked my wife to help me find some artwork and lettering online. She used simple drawing software to scale the picture and the lettering. She also located the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions for the brass shell heads. I used a drill bit to align the center of the paper pattern with the pilot hole in the wood. Then I marked the position of the holes for the brass shell heads. I drilled a pilot hole and then used a spade drill bit to make the holes for the shell heads. Again, I used blue tape to prevent splintering. Once I had all of the holes drilled, I sanded the wood face and sides. I found this method to be the easiest way to pull the heads off of the shotgun shell cases. I found that the heads got slightly deformed, so I used a 3 8 drive socket to flatten them out. Here's a mock-up of the heads and the clock hands in place. So far, so good. I use graphite paper to transfer my pattern onto the wood. This paper is also available at the craft store. I carefully taped my pattern to the wood, making sure everything was aligned. I used a fine point mechanical pencil to transfer the pattern. Here's the whole pattern traced onto the wood. My wood burning tool has a heat adjustment dial built into the cord. I found that the location of my outlet was making the tool awkward to use. So I added an extension cord. I clamped the cord end in my bench vise. This lets me hold the heat adjust in my left hand as I work. I find this setup to be more comfortable and it helps be me more precise with the wood burning tool. The tool has interchangeable tips. I chose the small pen like tip on the bottom in this photo. Here's some footage of me working on the lettering. Notice how I'm supporting the heat adjust dial in my left hand. Here's a close up. I wish the burning went that fast in real life. I found that periodically wiping the hot tip on a wet paper towel was enough to keep it clean. Once the burning was done, I used a pencil eraser to get rid of any remaining graphite left over from when I had traced my pattern. Here's some footage of me burning in the artwork. I found that spinning the wood around as I went was helpful. Here's a photo of the completed wood burning. I went over the entire job a few times, touching up any areas I thought were not burned evenly enough. Here's a close-up showing the depth and texture of the burning. I went with two coats of boiled linseed oil for the finish. After the finish had a couple of days to dry, I glued in the brass heads. I used a clear drying craft glue. Installing the clock mechanism was pretty easy. First I attached the mechanism to the wood, and then I attached the hands. Once I popped in a battery, the whole thing ran like clockwork. So I hope this inspires you to try your own project. Thanks for watching.